excuse the mess so uh, start off of uh, I think it's part six yeah I got a bit mixed up in my uh, sequencing when I made the last video so uh, the echo in here is unreal sounds like a 1980s CB mic there you are had one of those a Sedelta Echo Master Plus I thought it was brilliant but there you are so um, right I have scarfed in uh, the floor you'll notice the board at the back is is different um, that was all I had of the the floor that was here I had a few bits of it lying around the place and uh, I used it all up it's uh, very rough and ready but it's going to be all in under the desk anyway so it's not going to be a big deal it'll all be covered and uh, have the skirting board on needs to be filled uh, next job now is to get the ducting sorted here for the cables uh, the idea with this is I'm going to um, put two two by ones on their side so two inches out this way and they come you see the lines there if I go in closer you'll see and go all the way down to just below the desk so the cables will exit here and uh, I've made it wide enough it's five inches wide so I'd be able to run cables up and down through it without even having to uh, take the front off so what I'll do is I'll uh, put two by one on its side as I said and probably some maybe three mil uh, MDF or ply or something like that and uh, We'll we'll make a little rebate in it that the the um, the cover will slot into it and a few panel pins to hold it in place and I'll paint this the same colour as the wall. So uh, once I get that up, uh, next job after that, sorry about the finger, will be the coving and I have loads of that in the attic and uh, then sanding. You can see, as I told you, that wall was painted before, but there was still a few little pock marks in it um, that I could see when, when the lights were on. So, uh, give it another dart of filler. Uh, I have the second socket added, or the other socket added here. I've that done already. And I have to run some, uh, another bit of Cat 6 around to here for the, the Shack PC. Um, I have some indoor stuff so I'll just use that a little bit easier to work with than uh, than that one you know in a small space like this it's not uh, it's not very pleasant stuff to work with but there you go so uh, that's about it for this video and uh, I'll come back to you in the next video when I have uh, the ducting up and the coving done and uh, We'll be probably just ready to get it painted then at that stage. Today is Saturday. Uh, I plan to be at this most of the day tomorrow. And uh, I'm off Monday and Tuesday as well. So uh, I hope by Tuesday evening to have all the office end of it back together anyway for herself. And um, that'll leave me then that I can just kind of start into my own end of it at my own pace so I won't be uh, I won't be bothering anyone as I've said that floor is a bit rough the way it's done but look the, the whole floor in this room needs to be replaced anyway it's here it's 15 years here so um, it'll do for now and uh, we'll probably put a new, uh, new floor covering in here at some stage I heard talk about uh, like that, that loop down rubber back carpet like what they have in offices and stuff but uh, I don't know I'm not too uh, I'm not too sold on the idea but the other side of it is uh, if there was a carpet floor in here there would be half as much the echo that's uh, in this room at the minute um, it would probably help with the acoustics a bit so there you are so I'll leave it there for this video and uh, 
we catch it again in a bit and I am sweating again as usual I get very hot doing this kind of stuff so there you are so join me uh, in the next installment and uh, we'll be a bit further down the road and uh, oh, we get there these things take time so uh, 7-3 and thanks for watching this is George GI7 Kilo Oscar